Hi. I want to ask you, do you love doing your taxes? Uh, if you're anything like I was a few years ago, it's um, akin to trying to put the toothpaste back into the tube. It's frustrating and, of course, it doesn't yield great results. But in the last two financial years in a row, I've been able to not only double my business but also double my, my profit. So, of course, doing my taxes is a little bit more exciting now. And, um, and that's all been due to the three-tiered online marketing plan um, that's been able to double those profits. And I do want to stress the word uh, profits here because we do hear lots of stories about people um, doubling their business, but the full story is that they haven't actually doubled their profits. So um, I do want to stress that word when I'm talking about this and be completely um, transparent there as well. But before I let you know about the three-tiered approach, um, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach. And I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to then investing with you. And we use three things, which is storytelling, strategy, and systems. And they're the three things that I want to talk to you about today, that three-tiered approach. Now, the first one is storytelling. And what, um, when we talk about storytelling, there's actually two parts of this. There's the mind stories um, that we tell ourselves, and those are the stories that often hold us back. And um, in the online marketing mastermind that I run, this is often one of the big topics that gets talked about, that people talk about um, holding themselves back. So it's really key that you have um, some key people in your life around you, and whether that is a mastermind, a coach, whatever it happens to be for you, but you have that support to ensure that you keep moving forward so that you can double your, um, double your business. The other one is obviously telling more intentional and purposeful stories, and I've very much done that this year, but it's not only that, but also ensuring that I'm spreading them more widely. So, of course, I've been telling stories in my business for a long time, but I've really looked at the different platforms that I can tell those stories on and making sure that I'm sharing them more widely, and that has happened in the last two years, including doing masterclasses for other entrepreneurs, which I'll be doing another one in two weeks' time, um, doing in-person workshops, which I'll be doing again at the end of the um, end of the month locally um, and I'll also be flying interstate later in the year to be able to do another in-person workshop there. Um, I've been a guest podcaster on lots of um, different pod podcasts and so it's doing those things and really spreading yourself much more widely than your own community. So that's the storytelling. Number two is looking at the strategy. Now, um, one of the things that I've done in the past two financial years is, sure, I've always had strategy, but one of the things that I've looked even more closely at is how can I refine things even further? Um, how can I refine my strategies even further by looking at the analytics? And so I look at those to be able to determine where I should increase things and where I should pull things back. Because for me, there are two keys when I'm looking at strategy. One of them is that I want to in, uh, ensure that I'm getting short-term clients for um, that immediate cash flow, but also that I'm building a longevity, um, or, or sorry, a legacy um, business that ensures that um, it repays me now, um, it repays me and my family now, and, and also into the future as well. And the third one is the systems. Now, I'm going to be completely vulnerable here and, and admit that I have been prone to doubting myself. And I do hear this echoed in my mastermind all the time um, by the participants. It's something that, that we all tend to struggle with at some stage. And um, again, and that's why that, you know, having that support is so key. But I was reading about a big organisation uh, recently who admitted that um, sometimes their product launches failed. And in fact, sometimes they failed multiple times. Um, but the thing was, instead of just putting that back on the shelf and admitting that that was a failure, they instead repackaged that one offer. And that could be an opt-in, like a free gift, or it could be um, a paid product or a program or a service or a coaching offer. Um, they will repackage that in many different ways before they determine that it's actually a failure. So that's really the key, is that we don't give up on things too early because we are prone to doubting ourselves and doubting what we create. And so we give up on things um, often too early. So creating some systems around what you're doing so that you can ensure that you're doing things in a repeatable, predict predictable um, manner so that your results are um, can be measured and can be um, improved upon 
with each um, with each launch or, or if you're doing something that's evergreen, which is something I love doing, um, that you can actually look on a consistent basis so you can see where things can be improved. So if you want to do a bit of an audit of your three S's, storytelling, strategy and systems, I'd love to invite you to my um, three online marketing keys um, uh, workshop. So three online marketing keys to implement immediately the 2018 success. You'll see a a uh, link somewhere around this video that will, that will allow you to uh, register your free seat for that workshop. But here you'll be able to do a bit of an audit of the three answers and also have some tangibles to take away and implement in your business because whether it's a workshop like the one I'll be running or whether it's um, my mastermind, for me, nothing is ever, ever just a talk fest. I like people to take big action in their business so they can see some actual results in their business. So if you're after that, please register your seat for that workshop. And um, I look forward to seeing you there. So thanks so much. I hope you find this really helpful and you can start to see in your own business which of the three S's um, you need to start uh, focusing on to ensure that in the next six or 12 months in your business, you can start seeing some real growth. And particularly if you've reached that point where you're not on track to where you most want to be um, by the end of the year or whether that's um, the end of the calendar year or the end of the financial year um, that you understand where you are and how you're going to get there. So um, I'll see you on that training. I look forward to it. And um, thanks so much for listening.